Das alles ist heiß! Welcome to Earthquake Thursdays and today we'll be covering the 9-11 attacks which is also part of our disasters on Thursdays. On September 11, 2001, 19 militants associated with the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four airliners and carried out suicide attacks against targets in the United States. Two of the planes were flown into the towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. A third plane hit the Pentagon just outside Washington DC and the fourth plane crashed in a field in Pennsylvania. Often referred to as 9-11, the attacks resulted in extensive death and destruction, triggering major US initiatives to combat terrorism and defining the presidency of George W. Bush. Over 3,000 people were killed during the attacks in New York City and Washington DC, including more than 400 police officers and firefighters. On September 11, 2001, at 8.45 a.m., on a clear Tuesday morning, an American airline Boeing 767 loaded with 20,000 gallons of jet fuel crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. The impact left a gaping burning hole near the 80th floor of the 110-story skyscraper, instantly killing the hundreds of people and trapping hundreds more and higher floors. As the excavation of the towers and its twin got underway, television cameras broadcasted live images of what initially appeared to be a freak accident. Then 18 minutes after the first plane hit, a second Boeing 767 United Airlines Flight 175 appeared out of the sky, turned sharply towards the World Trade Center and sliced into the tower near the 60th floor. The collision caused a massive explosion that showered burning debris over surrounding buildings and the streets below. America was under attack. The attackers were Islamic terrorists from Saudi Arabia and several other Arab nations, reportedly fin financed by Saudi fugitive Osama bin Laden Al-Qaeda terrorist or organization. They were allegedly acting in retaliation for America's support of Israel, its involvement in the Persian Gulf War and its continued military presence in the Middle East. Some of the terrorists had lived in the United States for more than a year and had taken flying lessons at American commercial flight school. Others had slipped into the country in the months before September 11 and acted as the muscle. In the operation, the 19th terrorist easily smuggled box cutters and knives through security at three East Coast airports and boarded four flights bound for California, chosen because the planes were loaded with fuel for the long transcontinental journey. Soon after takeoff, the terrorists commandeered the four planes and took the controls, transforming ordinary Com commuter jets into guided missiles. As millions watched the events unfolding in New York, American Airlines Flight 77 circled over Washington, uh, downtown Washington DC and slammed into the west side of the Pentagon military headquarters at 9.45 a.m. Jet fuel from the Boeing 757 caused a devastating inferno that led to the structural collapse of a portion of the giant concrete building. Told 125 military personnel and civilians were killed in the Pentagon along with 64 people aboard the airliner. Less than 15 minutes after the terrorists struck the nurse center of the US military, the horror in New York took a catastro catastrophic turn for the worse when the south tower of the World Trade Center collapsed in a massive cloud of dust and smoke. The structural steel of the skyscraper built to withstand winds and excess of 200 miles per hour and large conventional fire could not withstand the tremendous heat generated by the burning jet fuel. At 10.30 am, the other tower center tower collapsed. Close to 3,000 people died in the World Trade Center and its vicinity, including a staggering 340 firefighters and par including a staggering 343 firefighters and paramedics, 23 New York City police officers and 37 Port Authority police officers who were struggling to complete the evacuation of the buildings and save the office workers trapped on the higher floors. Only six people in the World Trade Center towers at the time of their collapse survived. Almost 10,000 others were treated for injuries, many survived, many severe. Meanwhile, a fourth 
Californian-bound plane United Flight 93 was hijacked about 40 minutes after leaving New York International Airport in New Jersey. Because the plane had been delayed in taking off, passengers on board learned of events in New York, Washington via cell phone and air phone calls to the ground. Knowing that the aircraft was not returning to an airport as hijackers claimed, a group of passengers and flight attendants planned an insurrection. Uh, one of the passengers, Thomas Byrne Jr., told his wife over the phone that I know we are all going to die. There's three of us who are going to do something about it. I love you, honey. Another passenger told Beamer uh, was heard saying, Are you guys ready? Let's roll. Over an open line, Sandy Borso and flight attendant called her husband and explained that she had slipped into a galley and was filling pitchers of boiling water. The last words to him were everyone running to the first class, I've got to go, by. The passengers fought the four hijackers and are suspected to have attacked the cockpit with a fire extinguisher. The plane then flipped over and sped towards the ground at upwards of 500 miles per hour, crashing in a rural field in western Pennsylvania. In 10.10 10, 10, 10 a.m., all 45 people aboard were killed. Its intended target is not known, but cities include the White House, U.S. Capitol, and Camp David Presidential Retreat in Maryland, or one of the several nuclear power plants along the eastern seaboard. At 7 p.m., President George W. Bush had spent the day being shuttled around the country because of security concerns. Returned to the White House at 9 p.m., he delivered a televised address from the Oval Office declaring terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundations of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. In a reference to the event's U.S. military response, he declared, We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. Operation Enduring Freedom, the American-led international effort to oust the Taliban regime in Afghanistan and destroy Osama bin Laden's terrorist network based there began on October 7. Within two months, U.S. forces had effectively removed the Taliban from operational power, but the war continued as U.S. and coalition forces attempted to defeat a Taliban insurgency campaign based in neighboring Pakistan. Osama bin Laden, the mastermind behind the September 11 attacks, remained at large until May 2, 2011, when he was finally tracked down and killed by U.S. forces at a hideout in Abad to but Pakistan in June 2011. President Barack Obama announced the beginning of a large-scale troop withdrawal from Afghanistan with the final withdrawals of U.S. forces tentatively scheduled for 2014. This was today's Earthquake Thursdays where we covered the 9-11 attacks disaster. If you want to know more about disasters that happened in the past, present or possible future, then join me on Thursdays where we will be prepared for the worst case scenarios. I will see you in the next Earthquake Thursdays episode on every Thursdays. Ciao for now. for watching. If you like my video, why don't you subscribe?